testing for Hyperia is imminent. How exciting is that? Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome back to yet another Project Exodus slash Hyperia construction update. Testing for Hyperia is imminent. How exciting is that? As always, things are a little bit up in the air, like loads of work needs to be done before that happens. And that is mainly what I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video, because before this ride can test, loads and loads of safety stuff needs to happen here on site. And along with that, we've had loads more landscaping work, loads more groundwork, all taking place, building up to this ride testing, and then eventually opening to the public in late May, of course, the 24th. So yeah, it's been quite a while since I've actually shown you guys around the entire construction site. And at this point, I'm slowly gonna be able to do this less and less because once the ride area fences go up, which is happening as I speak, I won't be able to kind of access the site in the way that I've been able to over the past year or so, where I can literally go pretty much wherever I want to. But yeah, in these videos, you're gonna see some drastic changes. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be locked in to be notified when I upload all future Hyperia updates. But things are getting so exciting now. Crazy to think we could see this ride testing very, very soon. So although the very first test run for Hyperia is definitely looming, before that can even be considered to happen, as I said, loads and loads of health and safety work needs to be done. And my very key point of that is the ride area fencing. So just like you can see, we've saw the ride over here. Now, admittedly, I haven't chosen the best example because there's currently some temporary Harris fencing where they're obviously um, working on Hyperia. But this um, kind of ride area fencing all needs to be put into place here on the Hyperia side to basically ensure that the ride is able to safely operate and no one is able to enter the ride area when the Hyperia is operating. Yeah, that is what is happening just behind me. The groundwork for that is going in. So there'll basically be um, a nice fence there and they'll stop you from going there. And it'll basically mean they are not able to touch the supports or track like I've been doing for the past like year or so at this point. But yeah, as well as all of this kind of necessary stuff, loads and loads of landscaping work is also happening here on site. As you can see, if I've turned the camera around, we've got some trees all ready to go in over here. This seems to be a little bit of a storage area where they're just kind of holding off on some of the landscaping um, before it's planted. And again, over on the other side of the lake, you can just about see it right over there. Um, they've got loads and loads of trees waiting to be planted. Um, but even in areas like this, as you can see, we've had loads and loads of um, very thin trees that have all been planted right up onto that bank. So yeah, I'm just so excited to see this area not be basically a mud field anymore. I'm excited for the trees to grow and the ground to be nice and green and for it to be a really nicely presented coaster because at the moment, admittedly, it still does look like a bit of a construction site. So if you watch my video from here on site from about a week or so ago, you'll know that I mentioned that myself and the park are no longer showing inside the ride station in these videos and over on the Fort Park Pass Holders group on Facebook. And the reason for that is because so much of this project has been shown and documented, um, once again, in these videos by people over on Monk Talk and in the Facebook group um, via the photo updates, that it's nice to have something kept a little bit secret. Once you ride it on opening day, you'll be able to go in there, hopefully spoiler free and kind of experience it for the very first time. But I can tell you it's looking amazing in there at the moment. But yeah, from the outside of the station, as you can see, we've had some brand new signage put into place. Let me get a zoom in on this for you. So yeah, just above um, the kind of entryway, you can see it now says Welcome Fearless. Now, that is, of course, because once you've ridden Hyperia, you will have found your Fearless and you'll be able to enter the station Fearless. <laughs> so yeah, that's very, very cool indeed. Now, as we can see on either side of the station, we've had um, some work on the stairs in which they've actually put cages 
onto those stairways. Now, admittedly, from first glance, it might not look the best, but again, this is one of those things that has to be done for the safety of this ride because a lot of Hyperia is literally above where you come out of this station. There's a chance that if a rider is stupid and they take their phone or something in their pockets on this ride, they can of course fall. So the cage is there to basically protect riders um, from getting hit by anything. It's a very standard safety thing. If you've ever done the Smiler or Owen Towers, you'll know that most of that queue line is under um, like a cage. And that's unfortunately not massively a creative decision. It is more so a health and safety decision. Um, so yeah, that is the reason for the cages um, as you enter and exit the station. And as I'll show you in a sec, a lot of the queue line is gonna have some, some kind of netting to once again protect you from anything that may fall from the ride. But in my opinion, it almost looks quite intimidating. But like as you walk up to the station, you're very contained in this cage and it feels quite claustrophobic before you then get into the awesome station and then you go out and you'll just see the lift hill and everything will just be so open. Yeah, of course, we've got the accessibility lift that's gone in um, just to the left of that. So of course, if you're unable to go up the steps into the station, you will be able to get um, into the lift there. But yeah, very cool. I think my favorite detail though, is definitely that welcome fearless sign that has gone in. That's looking absolutely awesome. So I'm currently in the Hyperia queue line. This is a little bit mad. Obviously the last time I was here on site, obviously showed you all of the markings that started going in on the floor. Well, there are no longer markings here and we actually have the fence posts themselves. They've started to go in along with this, all of the fencing itself has started to go in. So yeah, this is where it really starts to get real. Like you're literally gonna be stood in here waiting to ride. Hyperia on the 24th of May. And just look at the views if you look up. It's literally like the Smiler, like where you look up and you can just see the ride everywhere. That is what queuing for this ride is gonna be. But yeah, there's actually a really nice mix of landscaping next to the queue line as well. So it's not just gonna be a pure cattle pen, like concrete jungle. Like you have got this nice little lake area and you've got a number of trees around this queue line. Now I was just talking to the project manager and he was just saying that the area where I am right now, this area of queue line in particular, is the most high priority area on the entire construction site right now. In fact, the builders are actually just holding off whilst I film this super quickly. Absolute legends. Yeah, the reason for that is because as soon as this ride testing, this area is literally under the ride, which is why they've had to put all of this netting in and they're trying to get this area finished as soon as possible. So that then once the ride starts testing, they can then work on areas that aren't kind of underneath the ride itself and they're a lot more free to do that. So until the ride's testing, they're really gonna be hitting this area hard and trying to get as much done as they possibly can. But yeah, it won't be too long before all of the fencing's up, some brand new floorings laid. And yeah, as I said, in the coming few updates, the different in this area is going to change so drastically from each and every update like things are going to change so much So I've made my way back up onto the site balcony now. I really think we could be seeing testing for Hyperia very, very soon. Now I'm gonna do my absolute best to be here on site to capture that very first test run. At the moment, there's no indication as to when it could be. All we know is it is gonna be quite soon. But yeah, I'm gonna do everything I can. I've canceled my entire plans um, for the next week or so, so that I can be here at a minute's call. And yeah, that's gonna be my plan. As soon as I get an email, text or anything from the project team, I'll be here ready to hopefully capture Hyperia's first ever test run. What an incredible moment that's gonna be. I have no idea if it's gonna be done super early in the morning, if it's gonna be done in the day, if it's gonna be at night or even at sunset, imagine that. But yeah, my phone's gonna be on loud at all times going forward so that I can be woken up by a call if I need to. I do not want to miss that huge milestone moment and yeah. 
believe me, I'm gonna do everything I can to get that video on the channel as soon as possible, because I know so many people are excited to see Hyperia test for the first time. And I don't blame them. Like, we've watched this thing go up over the past year. Two years, if you include like the planning stages for this ride and everything, and yeah, actually seeing a ride car going round the track is gonna be a really, really emotional moment. But yeah, all I can say is be sure to subscribe to the channel to be notified as soon as that video is uploaded. Oh my God, what a day that's gonna be. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching today's update. As I said, these updates are gonna capture loads and loads of chains going forward because we're at the point where landscaping and groundwork and kind of the plaza area is really gonna start taking shape. So it's gonna turn from this construction site that it all currently is into a really nicely presented site. I cannot wait. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching today's update. I really appreciate it. My name's Jack Silkstone. See you next time. Goodbye.